Hello and uh, welcome to what is fast becoming uh, an AM stereo YouTube channel. Uh, today uh, I'm going to show you about modifying a radio. Uh, on eBay I found that a lot of radios are pretty expensive if they have the AM stereo. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll just modify my own one. So here I have a, a Sanyo uh, radio cassette recorder. Uh, I like this particular one because it's got uh, two shortwave bands and it's got a very high quality uh, cassette recorder uh, on it. Um, and basically what I've done to begin with, I ordered one of these from eBay. It's a Medusi AM Stereo Stand Alone Outboard Decoder. It was $28, which is a lot cheaper than a, an AM Stereo radio cassette would go for on eBay. Um, and I mounted the board to the edge there. Um, just soldered the two earth tracks together so that makes it nice and stable. I then located the output of the existing AM radio which is here. That goes to the stereo decoder. Uh, what I've actually done, I've installed myself uh, a chip there. It's a 4016 quad bilateral switch. So basically what happens uh, when I'm on FM, uh, that chip just yeah, um, this move this back again. When it's on FM, uh, the output of the existing radio goes into the chip, then straight out again uh, here, and then feeds the uh, the audio board there. So you can probably just about see uh, where I've cut the two resistors out and linked it like that. So output from radio. Input to amp, and it's very hard doing this back to front. <laughs> um, right, the chip is controlled by the existing uh, AM radio chip, which is under that little piece of metal there. Um, basically, when you switch from AM to FM, there's a voltage goes into, uh, I think, the third pin in there. Um, so when it's on FM. Um, basically uh, that chip there I did the 416 just bypasses this board altogether. As soon as you switch to AM the voltage appears on that pin uh, there and it then flicks the internal switch of that chip so that it's now feeding the output of the AM stereo board to uh, the input of the amp. Um, what I've done uh, all I've done really is just taken. Uh, well, we have actually uh, lost it now. Um, are we? Yeah. So what I've done, um, I've taken the IF out there. Uh, basically, it's the output straight after the ceramic filter of the um, uh, like mixer oscillator. Uh, I have also changed the ceramic filter itself. So there, the I don't know if you can see that that blue thing there, it's actually a ceramic filter. But what I've done, I've taken the uh, four kilohertz audio bandwidth ceramic filter out and put a ten kilohertz audio bandwidth ceramic filter in there as well. So basically, that's the uh, transformer which feeds the ceramic filter, which then feeds the stereo decoder board there. Uh, also, while I add it. While I was at it, I thought I'd change the FM ceramic filters to J type filters, and that narrows the FM bandwidth a bit, which means that I can pick up the weaker stations out of the stronger stations. Um, so uh, I'm just going to pause this for a second and show you the um, fully assembled uh, item. Okay, well, here we are back again. I've just um, switched on and set up the uh, AM transmitter and here is the uh, radio that I've modified and you'll hear already that the AM sound quality is greatly improved so I can find something Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Marshall, PhD, host of Healthline Join me live to cut and to giving away this hospital's health plans and California employers. I'm Candy Campbell of the American Nurses Association of California. As a nurse, 
I know how important it is to control health care costs. So as you can hear the sound quality on AM now is practically as good as FM. And what we're going to do now is going to tune into our station. I hope I've actually started uh, some music. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, okay, we'll do something different this time. We'll have uh, some ABBA. Yeah. Okay, now you know, there's two things. Once I find it. There we go, stereo light comes on. And the sound quality is nice. Sango um, Bodecassette with AM Stereo.